Someone may have illegally buried a body at the graveyard. You're desecrating a grave! We may have a body that's been dumped here, on top of the old one. We lay down on the grave and it's like the ground absorbed him. Whoever put that body in the ground put the illness into what it. What did you do? You wanted her out? Yeah, I wanted her out, but not a goddamn plane. You gotta see this. She called me this morning. It's not a bacteria. Oh, you gotta get out of here. Everybody thinks this is because of me. Leave Rabbit Fall. Or their lives will rest on your soul. Oh. Do whatever you want with this one. She's lost her spirit. Found it in the forest. What's that? Excuse me? Bob! Get in here! A guy just dropped this and took off! Shade. She's been missing for three years. Parents abused her and she was placed in permanent foster care. Foster parents died in a suspicious fire. She's been missing ever since. Look at the cigarette burns on her. It's like a horror movie. This town's a horror movie. Hey. Is this post-traumatic stress? A severe case, but she's stable. What happened to you, sweetie? Karen's disappearance changed everything. We were drug addicts and liars. We lost our daughter because of our ways. When she was put in foster care, we just got worse. Then when Karen went missing in the fire, we turned it around. We finally saw the light. And now we're addicted to Jesus. That's good. Um, Karen was brought into the station by a man. Big guy, beard, dark skin. Sounds like Warren Jakes. A trapper who lives in a cabin down the old logging road. Do you think he had her? We don't know yet, but we will do everything we can to find out. I can't believe my baby's still alive. Can we see her? You can visit her with police supervision at the detachment. Um, any idea who took her? Not really. The police weren't much help. We even looked for her in the woods. We thought we'd find a body. Why? It's these woods. You can feel the evil just staring you down. What about Simon Blackhorse? Any history? Excuse us, Constable. Can I have a word? Why are you bringing Simon Blackhorse into this? Because he lives close by. It's a reasonable question. You are barking up the wrong tree. Is 
Simon Blackhorse. Uh, um, Karen used to go there, to his house. And? Said he was just offering her guidance. <laughs> but we knew there was more to it. More meaning what? I think she was kind of like his girlfriend or something. Did you tell the investigating officers that? Oh, yeah. They said he was questioned and cleared. <clears throat> Reach in the car. Were you two questioned? No, of course. We couldn't even make a decent supper at the time. You said Warren Jakes lives down the old logging road. So why the hell did you run away from us? I didn't. I walked my route home. How'd you find her? I was out checking traps. Just found her curled up, so I just took her to Simon's. Why? So I thought she was one of his. He said take her away. So he said she'd lost her spirit. Do you know anything about Russ and Bev Shade? I keep away from the opinions of others. Same as I keep away from town. Call if you think of anything else. I can't. No phone. Huh. You know where to find us. The woods are a scary place. Especially for a girl out there on her own. Uh, yes, Judge McNichol, please. Thank you. What, are you making a lunch date? I have enough to search Simon's place. You need my approval first. You know that. Simon's name is in every single one of these files. Missing girls, murder, abuse, for Christ's sake, Bob, look what he did to Karen. Okay, we gotta stop the guy. Can't you see that? You know what I see when I see this girl? I see a daughter whose junkie parents beat her and threw out like garbage. Come on. You're adopted. You must know what it feels like to be abandoned. Why don't you read the part about where Bev and Russ, her own parents, send their daughter Karen to school with a dislocated shoulder and three broken ribs. Janitor finds her in the bathroom stall. Why? Because she can barely move. Is that Simon's fault too? watching me. Oh, hi. Uh, did she say anything yet? Not a word. But she's more relaxed. Who's been staying here at night? Me. You? Double ships? Well, yeah, yeah. Nighttime's no problem. But I can sure you some help in the morning, just so I can get my kids off to school. I wouldn't mind coming in for a couple of hours before work, if you want. That would really help. Hey. Are you feeling better? Karen, honey, were you at Simon Blackhorse's house? Did you see that? Did your parents hurt you? Would you like to take a bike ride to the moon? 
It's a waste of time. Just a baby, and I said, "Okay." And you're so beautiful. We're gonna do whatever it takes to get you back, okay? We're so sorry for treating you bad, but everything's different now. She's wanting me to feel it, to communicate with me. Is it helping you figure out what happened? I don't know. All I know is I feel like I'm chasing more ghosts than criminals lately. It's like Simon knows where I'll look next. Late night? You could say that. Tell me about Karen Shade. The girl Warren brought here? Yeah. Seems interesting Warren knows where to take young tortured girls. Can we take a look around? Every time someone pisses in public, you show up here to write me a ticket. If you've got nothing to hide, it shouldn't be a problem. Be my guest. On second thought, I think it would be better if you got a search warrant. Don't plan any trips. I can tell you that much. Sorry to cause you the hassle, Mr. Black Horse. Constable, it's time to go. I'll be sure to send you my decorating bill. I saw Karen was in there. I saw... Saw what? Saw nothing. You wanna know why? Because Karen was not in there. Her drawing. I thought that was Simon. Oh, look at this. Squiggly lines. Art class. <laughs> we gotta tell Karen's parents. Her father's in La Fond buying her a new bike. Oh. What am I gonna tell him? This is all my fault. Beth, this is not your fault. I need her back. We were gonna surprise her with a new bike. 
We're going to find her. I promise. <sighs> hey, isn't that Russ's car? I thought he was in the pond. Karen's here. Yeah, well, no kidding. She must be in the basement. If there is a basement, you check the barn, I'll check the house. Oh, sorry, I just really need to use your bathroom. Uh, down the hall, second door on the right. Thanks. Little piggy gotta go pee, eh? Drop it! in there. I just want to talk, okay? I'm gonna blow his head off! Don't you nuts. Where's Russell? He's in there with Karen. Everything's fine. Drop your weapon on the ground! Watch my hands, Bev. I'm just gonna pull it out, okay? <laughs> Come visit. 
it very soon, okay? You know, she would have died if we'd have followed you got me longer. Leave. These people need you. Need me? A girl was almost killed today because of me, and Bob nearly got his head blown off. She trusted you. Without that picture... Yeah, I lucked out. What happens next time? You'll just know. Lesson learned. I've lost it. What? I can't be a cop. I'm not a cop. You have to stay. Tara! I don't need you now. I killed someone today, and two people could have died because of me. No. No. Papa wapiska. Namo kotao na pimatno. Namo wakna. Kitan pisak kasei. Namo kasei na. Namo paskin ipo na.